ultimately be up to the next president to decide. And there's no denying that uh, that progress is at risk uh, because we've got a president-elect who uh, has identified different priorities and has even been critical of some of this progress. And that's, uh, that's unfortunate, but uh, elections have consequences. All right. Progress, of course, is always in the eye of the beholder when it comes to the EPA moves under this president. Some would say a bit of an overreach there. Uh, but already talk that Oklahoma Attorney General Scott Pruitt, who's uh, now interested and likely will take a job that has been offered him to run the EPA, he's been long critical of the EPA, sued the EPA on a number of occasions. Now, if he's the top guy there, then what to make of that? Uh, with us now is Tom Price. Uh, or, by the way, Representative Tom Price has commented on that as well, uh, talking about doing things better. And that's what's your organization. Of course, he to take over health and human services. Uh, but again, these controversial choices are adding up to Republican Senator John Rosso uh, from the fine state of Wyoming on, on what he makes of picks that are going to be very eager to undo the work of their of their predecessors if they're confirmed. Senator, uh, how do you feel about all this? Well, as the White House spokesman just said, elections have consequences. Donald Trump won, talking about make America great again, make America grow again. And I think both Tom Price uh, as well as Scott Pruitt represent people who have a lot of experience at the state level. Uh, Scott is attorney general. Tom is a state legislator who then served in Congress. So I think they are really going to do a much better job than what we've seen in the Obama administration with its one size fits all approach and a regulatory rampage that I think has actually hurt our economy and put people out of work. I wonder whether Pruitt will have the tougher confirmation hearings. Of course, Republicans control both bodies. But I'm wondering, given the fact that he has dared to question climate change or dared to uh, question the, 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 the yawning gap between uh, regulations that benefit the environment and those that will, will be balanced out with saving jobs, that it's been more uh, on the former and not enough on the latter. Will that come back to bite him? Will some people say, well, wait a minute, your edict is the Environmental Protection Agency. This is something a, a Republican president created, Richard Nixon. You seem to be refuting its very purpose. You say what? We all want clean air. We all want uh, clean water. I come from Wyoming, one of the most beautiful states an anywhere. Absolutely. And yet we've dealt with an EPA that has made it much, much harder for us with our beautiful environment to, produ to have jobs in terms of energy development, energy exploration. And the EPA's regulations that I've seen under the Obama administration have been very costly with very little, if out any, actual benefit. So I'm looking forward to having somebody in charge of the EPA that focuses on clean air, clean water, without hurting our economy in the process. I think that's what's the key there, Neil. Now, it's hard to know what the uh, Democrats and the Senate are going to do in terms of confirmation, which was your question. You know, when Harry Reid changed the rules of the Senate right. so that you only need 51 votes, I think it's going to be a lot harder for them to slow down yeah, or stop he might, he might some of the that nominees. Move, right? Yeah, he might rue those days. Um, stepping back from this, and you're a doctor by training, um, you know, it, 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 do you think the health care, if I could just switch to that a second, is mm -hmm. uh, we keep hearing, Senator, that it, 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 it's going to take time. It could take up to three years. And I, I understand the complexity of that, but a lot of people were expecting quick and dramatic action on that. Uh, if that timetable is right, I don't know if it is, it would mean that millions, maybe tens of millions more, could sign up for the Affordable Care Act, thereby making it even tougher for you guys to disentangle them from it or to something else. Uh, by the time you do. Well, we plan to very quickly in the next administration put on President Trump's desk a piece of legislation to repeal significant portions of the health care law, and then the replacement will be done in an orderly manner to make sure that people whose lives have been terribly disrupted by this health care law aren't disrupted uh, any further. But just last week, Gallup poll, 8 out of 10 Americans say that the health care law ought to either be repealed and replaced or significantly changed because the costs to taxpayers as well as to individual people and their health insurance are much too high. Senator, thank you for taking the time. I appreciate it.